Hey everyone, it's Tom Woodgate from Legat College. And today we're going to have a look at how you can control the images that you get on Google um, with a little bit more detail than you normally would. So the first thing we need to do is actually have a look for a picture. And we're going to have a look for a picture of a bird. Now, obviously, when you type bird into Google, this is going to bring you up a regular web search. What we want to have a look for is specific images. And if you have a look at the top of the page, there's several options up here. And the second one along is images. So we click on there, that will take us to the image search. We've got some great pictures of birds on here, but let's get a bit more specific. Let's have a look for a bird with a particular color. So to get the tools up to do a better search with Google, if we go over to the right, there is a tools option. If we click on that, we'll get these additional menus come up along here. Uh, if you have a look at the second one from the left, it says color. Now, if we click on here, we have some predetermined colors. And let's have a go looking for a green bird. And here we go. We have a whole load of lovely pictures of green birds. Let's take this a step further. And let's have a look and see if we can find some pictures of green birds that are copyright free. Because if you're doing this for business, you want to be really careful about copyright and copyright infringement. So if you have a look again on the images menu, there is an option up there for usage rights. If we click on there and go down to Creative Commons license, that means that all these pictures that we've got here are free for us to use without worrying about copyright. Now let's take this even further. And rather than get a photograph of a green bird, maybe we want to get a nice clip art. So if we have a look over here where it says type, we can click in there and we can go down to clip art. And this will just give us clip art pictures of green bird. Now, let's say we like this guy here. So let's click on him. That'll bring us up a bigger version. We then move on to the bigger version and right click and then go down to the Save image as option and save this into our downloads folder. That's then ready for us to use for whatever we want. I hope that's been useful for you. This is Tom Woodgate from Legat College.